Hi, I'm Zachary Wassenberg and I work at Burns & McDonald, an engineering consulting construction firm. My specialty is within transmission and distribution, in which Burns & McDonald is the number one consulting firm in the United States. So everyone's talking about big data, but no one really knows what to do with it once they have the data. How do you get it to the end user? The answer is wearables. In my research, I've looked at every device that there is out there. We decided to go with RealWare's HMT1. MHI has developed a fantastic application for the RealWare HMT1 called Visual Inspection. They can take all of that huge amount of data that comes from a power plant, a transmission system, a distribution system, and it knows exactly when and where to deliver to the end user, and it's easily consumable. It's the information that they need where and when they need it. Augmented reality at its surface level is overlaying digital information into our physical lives. But at its core, it's a communication device. It's allowing all of those people in the field to take all of the industry knowledge and have it at their fingertips with things like peer-to-peer -peer communication, workflows, especially in the utility industry where knowledge is about to retire. We get to bring that knowledge into the digital frontier. So this is the device the HMT-1, and what we love is that this device mounts to a hard hat because everywhere we go, we have to wear a hard hat. Another reason that we love this device is that when you're working, you can't have information in front of you to distract you when you do have a task at hand. With many of the other devices that are out there on the market right now, it's in a fixed position. With this, you just flip it behind, it's good to go. With these augmented reality wearables, we're able to know that a quality assurance is there for us. Our subcontractors are able to take those pictures when we want them to, to prove that they've done a job well done and give our clients the amazing product that they've come to expect from us. With wearables like the HMT-1 from RealWare, I expect to see no less than 50% of the industry adopt this technology. Anyone who's in the field on a daily basis will be wearing these.